What's up guys, Nathan here and this is your 3G Thursday. I'm excited, I hope you are too, because today we dive into something that we briefly spoke about in the past. What is that? New construction frames. That's what I'm talking about. But honestly, I want to talk about a new construction frame because there are questions that my team and myself are receiving on a regular basis with something so simple. So let's sum it up. I'm sure you notice there's very few parts that go into a new construction frame. You have the bottom panel that sits flush with the ceiling, of course, and we have the electrical component here that holds our driver in place. The key being this aperture cutout. This is cut for my DL33. Remember last week? What is a DL33 RF70? That's a 3.3 inch round 70 millimeter aperture downlight. Not a 057 ABCD EFG, the Batman symbol 567, like some of our competitors. Looking at the bottom panel of the frame, you'll notice this holds a variety of different shapes, different sizes, that allows us to pre-make these and get them out to your job site as soon as possible. Ah, the word that I love, insurance. How does it work with the new construction frame? Well, your blocking sports on your trimless fixtures will be located on the backside. So tomorrow, if you need it trimmed, no problem. It's the same frame. Just simply ignore the blocking supports that are located on the backside of that frame. And let's concentrate on getting you trim assemblies because now that frame can close up the ceiling and the job can continue. With your frame installed, you'll notice that there's a spring here located on the top of the driver that holds that plate in place. Well, reaching up through the aperture, people try and hold that spring and they're trying to get access to it and bend it up. It's very tough to do, but I'm gonna show you a little bit of a secret. With your frame installed above the ceiling, reach up through the aperture and lift the driver into the spring. Don't try and pry that spring. Lift the driver up into the spring and use that flexibility to gain access to that driver. You'll notice now, there's your quick connect. You can disconnect that and then pull out your driver through the aperture. So that integrated option it is on board this fixture. Not bad for up to 4,000 lumens. And last but not least, I need to clarify something. Whether it's the 3.3, the four and a half inch round squares, even the Zoe product, one light, two light, four light, eight light, 12 light, that is the same new construction frame overall. There's not a variety of different sizes when it comes to different sizes of fixtures. So get used to one size. That is our standard new construction frame across the board. And that's your 3G Thursday. We'll see you next week.